Well, it's been nearly two years in the making and has cast a long shadow over the White House. Late this afternoon, special counsel Robert Mueller ended his investigation into the president and potential Russian interference in the 2016 election. So let's talk about it because that report now is in the hands of Attorney General William Barr, who today told congressional leaders he may brief them this weekend on Mueller's findings. It will be up to Barr to decide just how much of the report to actually share with lawmakers and also with the public. Mueller's team has now indicted or gotten guilty pleas from nearly three dozen people. Six of them were former advisors to President Trump. It's unclear if the president himself has been implicated in a brief statement on Twitter. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said the White House has not received or been briefed on the special report. Now, earlier today at the White House, the president continued to say he did nothing wrong. Well, we're going to see what happens. It's going to be very interesting, but we'll see what happens. Uh, there was no collusion. There was no obstruction. Everybody knows it. It's all a big hoax. It's, I call it the witch hunt. It's all a big hoax. So we'll see what happens. So President Trump had refused to sit for an interview with Mueller, but he did submit written responses to his questions back in November. In a non-binding vote, the House of Representatives has unanimously asked for the entire report to be made public. Of course, stay with PIX11 News for continuing coverage of the Mueller report, and we will have the very latest developments for you on PIX11.com and also, of course, on the News at 10. And really, everyone on both sides of the aisle mm -hmm. wants this report to be yes. public, and just let's get the information out there. All eyes on it.